it's here. DIY Fit 5. Yes, DIY Fit is all about using items from around the home to replace standard fitness equipment. And I said in the very first one of this series that I would do a lower body alternative for using tights or something else stretchy instead of a resistance band. Lots of people do have resistance bands, but even if you do, it's fun to try something else. So you could use, instead of tights, a long stretchy scarf, or you could tie two long socks together. Just use your imagination. I'm gonna start with inner thighs. So I'm going to lie on my side and I'm gonna pop the tights under the lower leg, the foot of the lower leg, and I'm gonna place my other foot on top like so. Holding on to the tights at the top here and lying on the other arm. So it's the top arm that's holding the tights. Now I wanna get myself completely side on. I wanna pull in my stomach muscles, relax my shoulders. I'm gonna flex that bottom foot to keep the tights where they are but also because I want to lead with the heel and flexing the foot helps me do that. Perfect inner thigh exercise. Now the next exercise, I'm going to actually tie my legs up quite tightly because these tights are quite stretchy. There we go. Right. And this time I'm going to work the outer thigh. So one hip above the other, not rolling forwards or backwards. Tummy muscles in tight, keeping the lower leg firmly on the floor. I'm just going to try and lift that top leg. And I can hold it up like so, and then bring the leg forwards and backwards. So when I bring it forwards, I feel my quad working. When I take it behind, I can feel my glutes working. So I'm going parallel to the floor here, forwards and backwards. And I'm using my stomach muscles to keep my pelvis still. So I'm working the core as well. And my lower leg is firmly on the floor. So even the muscles of my lower leg are working too, to create that resistance to the movement of the top leg. Ooh. I'm going to come to a sitting position now. So I'm straightening both legs. I'm taking my hands behind but not sinking into the shoulders. And I'm going to work the quad. I'm going to alternate because this is a hard exercise. Just keeping one leg firmly on the floor and lifting the other. And I'm using my core muscles to support that lift. So I'm keeping my stomach in. Obviously if you stick to one leg, it's going to be harder because there are more repetitions on that leg. Can you guess what I'm going to work now? Yes, you guessed it. It's the glutes. So keeping one leg on the floor and just lifting alternate legs as far as I can so that the tights are really tight. They're living up to their name. Trying to engage my glutes as I do this. So each time I lift the leg, the glutes on that side are squeezing. I can feel the hamstrings working as well. And again, as with the quad exercise, if you stick to one leg, it's going to be harder. You can also vary this one by lifting and then trying to take it wide. Again, bringing the abductor muscles, the outer thigh, into the exercise. Or you can kind of lift up and diagonally outwards at the same time, which is kind of doing both, your glutes and your abductors. I'm going to now attempt to stand up. Ah, oh, it's easy. So to finish off, I'm just going to show you some standing exercises and they're pretty similar except that we're vertical and it's a little bit more difficult because you haven't got the floor to support you, you have to be balanced. So you have to stand tall out of the supporting hip and we're just trying to lift that leg out to the side. You can hold on to something, of course you can, but it's good to test out your balance. Moving the leg in different directions, there is the quad working. There's the abductor and the glutes when I take the leg behind. And I'm trying to keep my upper body nice and still. And then let's do the other side. So not slouching into your hip and not locking the knee of the leg you're standing on. So forwards, side, behind, squeezing in my bottom to help the glutes to work. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this little video. Why not subscribe to my channel? There are all kinds of things on here that you can enjoy. See you next time.